everyone, I'm Maya Jama and I am the Football Virgin. I'm on a journey to learn everything I can about the beautiful game. Next season is getting closer and closer and I still haven't chosen a team to support yet. This is why I need your help. Please keep sending in your videos telling me why I should support your team. I've had some really good ones so far. Hi there guys, my name is Jared, and I live in Perth, Western Australia and I am a lifelong Liverpool supporter. Just go and watch Nottingham Forest. Hereford United as you can see on these posters up here. And my club is Aston Villa FC. I think you should support Arsenal this season because of players like this. You need a team with passion. So send them in to thefootballvirgin at coppernighty.com and you never know, I could be coming to see you and even come and support your team. Loads of you left comments saying that I should meet a professional football player and get his tips on being a football fan. So I'm here in beautiful Blackpool to meet Blackpool's winger, Matt Phillips. Okay, so Matt, how long have you been playing football then? Well, I started playing you know, pro probably when I was eight, playing for my local side, um, Ellsby Town. Yeah, from, you know, as soon as I could walk, you know, I wanted to play football. What's the best bit for you about being a footballer? Like perks maybe, or like being recognised? The best bit, you know, is obviously come come a Saturday, uh, you know, the, the buzz you get, the vibe you get from all the fans and especially, you know, up at, up at Blackpool, you know, everyone really gets behind the side and, yeah. you know, travels all the way down to London and, you know, Manchester, Birmingham to watch, to watch us play, so. The vibe you get on a match day is um, probably one of the best things. Have you ever had any bad feedback or bad like abuse maybe from people? You no, know, obviously you're always going to get that. You know, you can't play well every week, or you know, if someone in the stands thinking you you, you can be doing a bit better. Yeah, how is it that you deal with it? Because I always think when I watch players on foot on TV and stuff, and people are like rah, rah, throwing a boost at them, yeah. do you like go and sit in a corner and be like, oh, really special, or just it's just natural now? It comes with the game. Um, you got to be you know tough tough and you know confident in yourself that the next thing you do is going to be positive. So throughout the series I've been asking different people for different tips and pieces mm. of advice. If you could give me three tips on how to be a proper football fan what would they be? Um, number one obviously wear the shirt. Um, you know you can even kick yourself out and get the shorts and socks as well. Or, on, you know, just, yeah just go for the shirt. Second of all I think you've got to get into the uh, you've got to get in the swing of things so you know have a couple of drinks. Um, yeah. Alcoholic will do. And uh, <laughs> third you obviously need to, to know some of the songs, yeah. who the, the more popular players are and yeah. you know, they more often than not have a, have a song. So. so obviously being on the wing, you're close to the crowd, you know, close to all the fans, maybe bad opposition and yeah. your fans. When you're playing, has it ever affected you? When you're having a, you know, a good game, obviously you can hear your own fans and that, and that you know, getting behind you. And, but more time you're just, you, you know, you're, you're blanking it out, you're focused, um, concentrating on, on, on the game. When, you're not doing so well, you hear more yeah. than what you do when you're doing well. Yeah, yeah. There was a time when you know, I, got, I got spat at from, from the oh side. Oh my god, um, disgusting. And I don't think there's nothing more vile than that. Yeah, no, that, that would so, be worse. Yeah. How, how does it feel when that happens though? Do you not want to like kick off or you just got to like stay yeah, zoned? Well, you know, obviously you want to you wanna kick off, but you, you know, you, hear, yeah. you, hear, you can't, you're really, obviously if I go and do something then it's going to be me that yeah, suffers the consequences. The so. so what do you think makes a perfect fan? You know, someone that, Follows the follows the team through thick and thin. You know, likes to go out and wear the shirt and you know pick their players and support their player and yeah. things like that. So. Right, so Matt's left me. I'm on my own now. But since I'm in Blackpool, I might as well go and have a little explore. to go to Blackpool and meet a professional football player. In my next episode, I'll be starting my road trip around the UK to visit some football clubs. I need someone to show me their town, take me to their local pub, and tell me why I should support their team. Keep sending in your videos and I could be coming to see you. Subscribe to Copper 90 and I will see you next week.